Welcome to Engineering Studio with Dr. Mohammad Tahir. In this video, we are going to discuss about the failure modes of steel columns or steel compression members. So, mainly two types of failure modes are common in case of compression members. The first one is local instability or local buckling and the second one is global instability and global buckling. This is for normal column, intermediate and long columns. But in case of short columns, there can be compression yielding in the section. So in the next slide, we will discuss one by one what are these failure modes, local buckling and overall buckling. So first of all, local buckling. So during local instability or local buckling, individual parts or plate elements of a cross section buckle without overall buckling of the column. So here, the plate elements are the local parts of the section buckles without the overall buckling of the member. So overall member will not buckle but some part will buckle. So here we can see in these figures. So here in the first and the last figure there is a buckling, local buckling of flanges. And in the middle figure there is buckling of steel tube. The local buckling should never be allowed before the overall buckling. So first the column should buckle about the between the spores and then it can buckle at the local points. So the overall buckling should occur before the local buckling. The local buckling is controlled by the slenderness ratio lambda is equal to B over T, width over thickness ratio. So for unstiffened flanges, what are these unstiffened flanges? So an unstiffened element is a projecting piece with one free edge parallel to the direction of compressive force. So here if we see in this figure, so this portion, this has one free end and the other connected end. And this free end is parallel to the compressive force. So this portion is termed as unstiffened element or in case of W section it is unstiffened flange. So for unstiffened flanges, B is equal to half width of flange, BF over 2, means this is total BF and this much will be equal to BF by 2. So the B will be equal to BF by 2 and T is the thickness so slenderness ratio will become BF over 2TF and this slenderness ratio will control the local buckling. And for different webs, so stiffened web is a web or is an element which is supported along its two edges parallel to the direction of force. So if we see this web, so it is connected at this point as well as at this point. So both the edges are connected and these edges are parallel to the applied force. So the parallel edges to the applied force or the applied compressive force are connected so we can term it as stiffened element. So in case of stiffened element or stiffened web of W section, H is the width of web, so this width or B will be equal to H and TW is the thickness of the web, the thickness of this web TW. So the slenderness ratio will become, B over T will become H over TW. So this slenderness ratio will go on the local buckling of web. So in case of flanges or any part which is connected on one side and free on the other side so it will be termed as unstiffened so we need to consider this much length whatsoever is this b and its thickness t so this will be the lambda and this lambda will go on to control the local buckling and in case of stiffened elements which are connected on both sides so we need to consider this distance between the two edges which are connected that will be equal to b and its thickness t so it will give us the slenderness ratio and this slenderness ratio will go on the local buckling. Higher the slenderness ratio, more chances of local buckling. So to avoid the local buckling, we need to reduce this slenderness ratio. So the next failure mode is overall instability or overall buckling. So first of all, buckling is a sudden lateral bending. The buckling is a sudden lateral bending produced by the axial loads due to initial eccentricity or initial imperfection, out of straightness, initial curvature or bending produced by simultaneous bending movement or even without these imperfection or lateral loading. So lateral bending can 
occur. So suddenly the column will bend in the lateral direction under the application of applied load and this sudden bending will be termed as buckling. So in case of overall instability, the column buckles as a whole between the supports or the braces about an axis whose corresponding suddenness ratio is bigger. So these three things need to be noted here that the column will buckle up between the supports or between the braces and it will buckle about the axis which has bigger slenderness ratio. So for example if we see over here so this is for this W section this axis is weaker axis sorry stronger axis so column can buckle about this if it buckles like this between the spores Or the second possibility is it can buckle about the minor axis, this axis. So if we compare these two, so the possibility of buckling will be more in case of minor axis because here the slenderness ratio will be larger. So this figure, first figure shows the buckling about minor axis. So this is the minor axis. It shows the buckling about the minor axis between the spores. And the next figure shows the buckling between the braces. So here we have brace. So this brace is about major axis or stronger axis. So this is our stronger axis. The brace will be perpendicular to this. So here we can see this is our major axis. The brace is perpendicular to this axis. So if bracing is provided in this way, so it will buckle between the braces about the major axis. And this figure shows the bracing about minor axis here the bending will be about this minor axis and bracings are perpendicular to it and the column will bend between these braces so here this is minor axis and the bracing is perpendicular to it okay single section your single angle section may buckle about their weak z axis so in case of angle section we have x, y and z, x. z axis, x axis is in this direction, y axis in this direction and z axis is in this direction. So this section will be weak about this z axis. If it is weak about this z axis, it means its slenderness ratio about the z axis is larger. So it will buckle about that axis. So here we can see it is bending about the z axis. It is not about x axis or y axis, it is about z axis. So this is the case in case of unsymmetrical section having non-zero product moment of inertia. So unsymmetrical sections are those for which product of product moment of inertia is non-zero. So they have weak axis different from the y axis or x axis. So if a section is unsymmetrical just like this ice, uh, angle section, so in that case the weaker axis will be some other section other than x and y axis. The chances of buckling are directly related to the slenderness ratio of the section. Larger the slenderness ratio, more chances of overall buckling.